Welcome. I'm Steve Watson here at Someday Farm with today's Tai Chi Chuan tip. Today's tip is about Peng Jin, what we might think of as an expansive energy. Certainly a lot more to it than that, but it's a place to start, a common ground that we can talk to with uh, a familiarity of that common ground. And the idea is that generally when people practice, we'll see a couple sort of errors. One is that they don't much think about Pong until those moves where they try and think about Pong. Like this is the Pong move, this is the Pong move. And the other thing is that people will tend to think of Pong uh, where they carry the experience and expression of Pong throughout more of the form. They tend to kind of stay overly inflated. So it's not very alive. It's full, it's pung, but it's not particularly organic and expressive. It's not particularly vibrant. It's not particularly yin yang or tidal, right? And so what we'd like to practice is a sense of A, maintaining a sense of pung throughout the form, not just where it's easy to think of pung, like on that move, right? Um, but also to have a sense of the pong existing in a continuum. So there may be a high tide and a low tide and a slack tide and a full moon tide and a new moon tide and so forth. So there's this aliveness to the continual expression of pong. So I'd like to just kind of keep that aliveness, maybe even a little bit exaggerated through my form practice. A nice way to practice this is in partner practice, such as in Sun Chao or Dalu, but practicing it in your own form is a great way to get after it as well. So I wish you luck with that. And as usual, more important than wishing somebody luck is wishing them skill. And more important than that is wishing them discipline. So I wish you discipline.